Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. A while ago Through Knight sent me this very very cool TN40 flashlight, which is super bright. I mean really super bright. Wow. <laughs> and uh, actually it's too bright for the camera. The camera will darken. It's so bright that you can't really show the brightness on camera. But in any case, this light is so powerful that you can see it in broad day daylight. See what I can do with this? That's why I was aiming it, uh, using it as an aiming device for one of my toy arrow guns. But now they've developed a new version, the TN42, and I actually got two of those. Let me compare those. On first glimpse, they seem almost identical. The TN42 is a bit longer than the TN40. Um, and also, if you look inside, it only has one big LED and a huge mirror, while the TN40 has four LEDs. But the difference is because this is a searchlight and not a torchlight. Let's see the comparison. So this is the TN40 in its brightest setting. And now comes the TN42. And you see that this has a spotlight that is actually a lot brighter and a lot more focused than the light of the TN40. So I think that the TN40... <laughs> now both models have the advantage that you can plug in the uh, charger without removing your batteries. That's a really nice feature. You can also check whether there is enough juice and this one needs to be refilled pretty soon. Again, when you switch it on, you can cycle through the different strengths. A double click brings you into full brightness mode and another double click brings you into the strobe light mode which is really an emergency thing. All right, let's see the comparison in darkness. It's about 50 meter distance and we're now lighting with the uh, TN40. And now we're switching on, we're switching on the TN42. And you can see that the focus is a lot more pronounced. I can easily believe that this lights up for a mile or something. I mean, look at that. Wow. Okay, now I have two of those, two TN40s. So what can you do with two lights that you can't do with one? Well, I have an idea. And my idea has to do with the way how the human eyesight works. Let me explain that to you. So the human eye has a 3D functionality. This means that you can actually turn and move your eyeballs towards each other. So when you focus on something that's really, really close, you start to really focus on it. And your eyeballs turn towards that object and actually go apart as um, the distance increases. That's why we can watch 3D movies and stuff. And that's why we are so good in estimating distances. It all has to do with the angle of the eyeball and the way how the brain processes that information. So here is my idea. Let's put both flashlights on and put them to full power. Okay. Now I can stretch out my arms and then focus on things so that the two lights are in focus. And as you see, the more far this is away, the smaller my angle has to be. So on a faraway object, they're almost parallel. And on a close object, they must be much, for, much more closer together. A little bit like this. Now you're not in focus. And now I am fully focusing on the camera. Now my idea is to use this as a distance measuring device, purely mechanical, slingshot channel style. And of course, combine it with a slingshot. <laughs> so, let me show you my machine. So this is my little test device. <laughs> the distance meter 2500. Let me show you its features. The most important thing is the two searchlights mounted left and right. And then there is this mechanical technique here, this way how to angle them by just a single lever. So I push this front and back and the angle automatically changes. Of course, this can take things into focus. Okay, so this little table up there is adjusted to about 23 meters. And as you see, if I turn this, it comes into focus right there. And once I have it into focus, I can read on my lines 
that's a 23 meters distance. Works really nice. And now this thing here comes into play. It's actually a little crossbow. It's only a test device, not a weapon. It has really weak rubber and it's designed to shoot tennis balls. So we have this little screw here and this curve that is adjusted for the angle at this certain distance. So when I move this up and down, you see that the curve walks with it. So on a, uh, let's say, 10 meter shot, let's adjust this for 10 meters, then the angle is really low because that's a more flat trajectory since the distance to the target is shorter. And if I ramp this up all the way to, let's say, okay, um, 25 meters, then the angle is a lot more steep because it needs to aim higher to hit the target. So again, when this changes, automatically the shooting angle changes. Now this is a very short distance, and then we're really starting to be serious here. That's like the longest distance you can shoot, and that's almost a 45 degree angle. Okay, put the ball in the pouch. Really adjust the target here. Okay. And ha! Perfect hit. Ain't that great? <laughs> Another hit. It works. All right. Now let's move the target to the 10 meter mark and you will see that we're still hitting it. And here we are. This is now 10 meters distance. And um, as you see, we can easily tune in the lights. Okay, that would be it. Now we bring down the barrel all the way, like this. And then we fire. Ah, hit. So this is the focus method again. Wow. <laughs> so again, if I stand in front of this with my arms spread wide and bring this into focus, it will be very easy to hit whatever is in that focus. Closer distance, longer distance. Very cool. So what is this good for? Well, this obviously is only a demonstration device for the physics behind this machine. Um, otherwise, it will be illegal, since in Germany it's illegal to build a weapon that illuminates the target. But since this is not a weapon but just a demonstrator, I'm cool. Anyway, um, but imagine if you would take these lights and pull them far, far away, like 10 meters apart, and do the same mechanics, and then add a powerful gun or rifle, crossbow, whatever to it, and do the same thing. Since these lamps have a reach of a mile, imagine what you could do with it. Anything that is in the focus of the machine will be hit. Wouldn't that be great? Purely mechanical. I love it. <laughs> and I hope you do too, because that's it for today. Thanks and bye-bye.